Hi, are you ready to start day six? Yesterday, we learned Jesus came on a rescue mission. And boy, did he ever. He came not only to save us from hell, but from the works of darkness in this world. We read in all four gospels that he healed the sick, which he still does today. That he set the captive free, which he still does today. He released demonic bondage over people, which he still does today. And that's what we're talking about in Healing Life's Hurts, where the enemy takes us captive and we say no longer in Jesus' name, I want to be free. But how does the enemy do that? Well, he lies to us. God, Jesus is very, very clear in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, about the enemy being a, law, a liar and the father of lies. But in that same chapter is this glorious passage I want us to look at. And that is John 8, 31 and 32. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Well, what is the truth? The truth of God's word, certainly. But Jesus is also talking about himself. In John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. I heard a pastor once say, Jesus didn't only speak the truth. He is the truth speaking. That's powerful. And it is the truth of Jesus Christ in our life that sets us free from the lies that we believe about ourselves and about God. Because that's at the crux of why we have addictions, behaviors, and why we can't let go of our past and the hurts and traumas of us, our hearts. So that's what we're going to be talking about. The enemy's lies, but God's truth, which is so much greater. And as he makes us free, we will be free indeed.